Hey, it's Andre, and this is my Sony ZV-10. And if you want to do talking headshots like this, or vlog shots like this with the Sony ZV-10, then you know that with the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens, it can become a little bit restricted with it. There'll be times when, just to get yourself within the frame of the shot, you may just need to be a little bit further away from the camera than you like. And if you're filming in a small room like I am in here, then you want the camera to be as close as possible. As you can see in this shot, this is the closest I can get to the camera to me where I'm happy with the framing and if we go to the vlog shot at full arm's length this is the camera at 16 millimeter zoom which is equivalent to 24 millimeters because of the nature of crop sensor cameras like the ZV-10 but I'd like the shot to be a bit wider so you the viewer can see more of my surroundings so it adds to the content and what if I told you that you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on a dedicated wide angle lens when you can get this from Ulanzi. This is the Ulanzi WL3 Wide Angle Additional Lens and is compatible with the Sony ZV-10 and the Sony A7C. So in the box you get the instructions, the lens itself which actually does come with a front and back cap and a lens cleaner. It's made out of an oxidized aluminium alloy frame and the glass lenses are German shot low dispersion lenses with a 30 layer double sided nano coating that aims to eliminate noise, restore color, reduce glare and internal reflections. So looking at this lens, you're probably asking yourself, where's that normal E-mount fitting that you see on lenses that fit this camera? Well, this lens doesn't actually fit onto the camera directly, but in fact screws onto the front of the kit lens and other lenses that have a 40.5 millimeter filter diameter like that. With this lens on, you'll now get the benefit of a wider field of view going from that equivalent 24mm to 18mm thanks to this lens. And I'll show you just how much of a difference it makes in talking headshots like this and when vlogging. This lens isn't only a wide angle lens converter, it's also a macro lens. If you unscrew this larger section, you'll get to the smaller section, which aims to give you 10 times magnification compared to without it, getting you even closer to your subject. Remember, you're doing this with a lens that's a fraction of the cost of any other lens that you can buy. The macro is a little bit hit and miss, which you'll see in my examples later, but if you don't do any macro content creation, you're gonna get your money's worth using this just as a wide angle lens. But this can only be done by using those two pieces together. So let's go and test the Yolanzi WL3 lens on the Sony ZV-10, and let's see what wide angle and macro shots we can get with this. So this is the Ulanzi WL3 wide angle lens for the Sony ZV-10 and the Sony A7C. So I'm now using the kit lens on the Sony ZV-10, so that's without the Ulanzi lens on it. And as you can see, you haven't quite got the exact same background that I had previously, as you can see. So I'm just going to pop this on. So I'm going to the this on, so you've got that space just above my head and you can see a little bit more of the park that's around me.
So that's the Ulanzi WL3 wide angle lens which fits this Sony ZV-10 and the Sony A7C camera. So if you're looking for a budget accessory that's going to widen your horizons with the camera, that means you're not having to spend hundreds on a dedicated wide angle lens, then this surely is a must have accessory for your camera bag. Whenever I'm recording shots like this, I'm using its wide angle feature so I can get the widest shot while keeping the camera as close to me as possible. Because I mainly use this for wide angle shots, I don't really use it for macro shots so much because I use another budget lens that along with extension tubes allow me to get even closer. And if you want to see my video on these extension tubes or this lens, I'll link to the videos in the description below. Let me know in the comments what your ideal budget accessories are for your camera, whether you've got the Sony ZV-10 or another, and whether you think the shots I took with this lens attached, whether it's something that you'd consider for your camera bag. Thanks for watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.